Thanks, Jesse. Now, look, we all hope our kids are treated fairly at school, but that's not always the case. A mother in Kennedale says the superintendent racially targeted her son, and she told Bradley Blackburn she wants him gone. He's a pretty good kid. Teresa Turner Austin is a proud mom. Her son Cameron, an eighth grader and athlete at Kennedale Junior High. I moved to Kennedale based off the school. They came here just over a year ago from Mississippi, but she said she never imagined at this age her son would learn this lesson. Well, for what I have learned that you shouldn't let nobody call you boy or dude. You're supposed to be called by your name. He says he was called boy and dude by the leader of this district, Superintendent Chad G. It happened last month in the lunchroom. Cameron said he and some friends had permission to be out of class when G, who he didn't know, approached. While we out of the classroom. He says he tried to explain, but G got frustrated and raised his voice. And he just told me I was what was wrong with Kennedale, and this is why, and this is why the district is like this now. I come from a racist state, and I know what it feels like to be racial profile. I never expected my child to have this to happen. The NAACP of Arlington agrees this um, was racism. What Cameron experienced is what we have experienced in meetings with him. They say G has been combative in meetings they've had since another racially charged incident in the district last fall. Last night, they took it to the school board asking for his resignation. They did not get it. I was really expecting more. They say he wasn't disciplined either, but the board did agree to district-wide diversity training. We'll see how serious they are about it. This family and their supporters still want a change in leadership. I'm still hurt. I've cried several times today. Because they say no student should learn about racism through experience. Do not let a person call you out your name. In Kennedale, I'm Bradley Blackburn. Now, the superintendent declined a request for an interview, but the school board did send us this statement, writing that it recognizes that Kennedale ISD is part of a changing community and that an inclusive school environment is vital to the success of our students and our district. Got to tell you about some breaking